let's go ahead and get started. Um, it is that time. Um, hello, Elizabeth Betta. Uh, we'll just go into a cross-legged position. And just let me know if you have uh, anything that you want to do today. Um, shoulders or back or anything else since we're just getting started as well uh, we have so much uh, opportunity to kind of be flexible with whatever you're looking to do all right so let's just start in a cross-legged position and i'll totally read the chats as we go along so feel free to type it on in it's no problem all right so let your hands rest down on your lap sit up nice and tall close down your eyes We'll take a couple of slow, deep breaths here. Empty out your lungs. Full, deep inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, stay tall. Just relax your face, your cheeks, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders. Again, full, deep inhale. Exhale. And start to gently tuck your chin in toward your chest. Your next inhale, let your head roll over to your left shoulder. And then continue that head roll all the way back toward the back of the room. Stay tall, stay lifted. Let your head roll over to your right shoulder. And let your chin tuck back and toward your chest. Again, your next inhale, roll your head over to your right shoulder. Start to let your head roll back toward the back of the room. Head to your left shoulder. Chin toward your chest. And then keep your chin toward your chest. And your next inhale, take your fingers and interlace them. Place them just at the base of your head and give yourself a gentle, gentle nudge downward. Hug your elbows in toward your head. Feel a little bit of stretching in the back of your neck. Take one more breath here. Exhale it out. Uh, your next inhale, return back into neutral, open your eyes, keep your elbows out wide, and then from here, lift your chest up taller toward the ceiling, broaden out your elbows, open up through your chest, and feel that squeeze of your blades as you open up through your front body, send your elbows out back behind you just a little bit more. Stay for one more breath, inhale, open your chest. And on your exhale, go back into the round. Separate your blades. Inhale, open your chest, go lengthen. It's almost like a cat cow. And exhale, go round. Twice more. Inhale, go open your chest. And exhale, go round. Last time, go inhale, open your chest. And exhale, go round. Good, return back into neutral. Release your arms, lean back just a little bit and switch out your legs. And looking at the comments, back and hips, that sounds great. From this place, let's take an inhale, arms go all the way up high toward the ceiling. Twists are so good for our spine. Let's find an open arm twist to our right. Open your chest. Inhale, arms go all the way up high toward the ceiling. Stay tall, open arm twist to your left. Inhale, arms go up high toward the ceiling. Stay tall, stay lifted. Drop your right hand down, reach your left arm up and over. Find your side body stretch. Take an inhale, open your chest just a little bit more. And exhale, let's switch it out. Drop your left hand down, reach your right arm up and over. And again, find your side body stretch, open up through your chest. One more inhale, lengthen, go and exhale, return, love it. From here, let's lean back just a little bit and pick up our right foot. Let's take this right foot into our hands and do a couple of rolls. So I'll switch to the side so you can see. Roll your foot in toward you, a couple of circles. Roll it in toward you, roll it in toward you. 
roll it in. Four more times, good. Circle your foot in toward you, three more times. Go three, twice more, go two, and go one. And let's reverse it then. So going in and then out, go in and then out, that's right. Go in and then out, chest up. Go in and then out, four more times. Go four, go three, nice, go two, go one. From here, squeeze your foot in towards your chest, lift your chest up, spine nice and tall, and then take this left foot, plant it down to the floor, and move this right foot on top of your left thigh. You've got your figure four. Lift your chest up tall. See if you can maybe scoot your hips in closer to your left foot, scoot your foot in closer to your hips, and lift your chest up even taller, lengthen out through your spine. Check in with your flexed out right foot. Maintain your flex, allow your right knee to gently, gently open, right? We're not forcing anything, just a nice, easy, easy encouragement as we allow this right hip to open. Lift up tall through your chest. Good, stay for your exhale, you hold, very nice. From this place then, we'll lean back just a little bit and then take your hands interlaced uh, underside of your left thigh. Pick up your left foot up off of the floor. Hold right there. See if you might be able to use your right elbow to help push into your right inner thigh. Hang out here for four, just a good test of your balance. For three, two more, for two, for one, maybe one quick extension, lengthen out through your left leg, hold, excellent. And then as you bend your left leg again, set this left foot down against the floor and then make it 90 degrees. So your foot's not super close to you. You wanna um, kind of have it out a little bit farther away, 90 degrees. And then stack this right foot on top of your left knee, your right knee on top of your left foot. I'm gonna scoop back just a little bit. So from this place, you're stacked, you have a good uh, double pigeon, flex both feet, chest up nice and tall, and let's hinge forward. It's really easy when we do this stretch to start to round in your spine. I want you to draw your shoulders back, use your fingers to help push your spine long, and hinge from there. Open your chest. If this still feels okay, start to walk your arms in front of you, open your chest, lengthen, and exhale, hinge a little bit deeper. We'll hang out here, hold for four, hold for three, open your chest, hold for two, long through your spine, hold for one, and then listen, stay down low, start to walk your hands over to your left hand side. See if you can get any part of your right arm outside of your right foot, and then again, lengthen out through your chest, and then hinge a little bit deeper, extend out through your arms, hold right there. Hold for four, hold for three, open your chest, hips go down, lengthen out through your spine for two, Hold for one, good. Crawl yourself back through center. Take one more breath here, inhale, open your chest, get long. Exhale, fold. See if you can get your chest maybe to go flat over your right leg. Nice, gently lift yourself up. And now that our right hip is a little bit more open, we'll take that bottom leg again, straighten it out. We're still in a figure four. So right foot is right over your left thigh. Lift your chest up nice and tall. Flex your left foot and find another hinge. Right. Allow your right side to open here. From here, let's take our right hand toward our right like inner thigh area. Give it a gentle, gentle push. Nothing too uh, aggressive, a very mild push. See if we can start to open up this hip open up this side. Good, and then from there, we're kind of facing this left-hand side already. We'll let go of that push and start to walk our arms again out to this left-hand side. Maybe some part of our right arm can touch this right foot. Hold right here, lengthen out through your spine. 
skin fur. I think for like spine stuff, back stuff, a, a twist, like a ringing out of your spine feels really nice just so that it's not um, this feeling of compression, especially if you're in one spot the entire day or for hours on end. It feels really nice just to find like a twist. Uh, so here we are in our forward fold, in our twist, and in our hip opening. So a three-in-one combo just for you. Hold right there. Yes. Good, and then gently lift yourself up. Let's find that center fold one more time. Lengthen, open your chest. See if you can get your chest to kind of hit right the sole of your foot right there. Hold for four, for three, for two, for one. Gently lift yourself up. Great job. All right, let's extend this right leg out long and move into our uh, left side. So shake it loose real quick. And then from here, we'll bend up this uh, left leg. And with the right leg, you can do kind of whatever you prefer to do. Um, I think last time we just had it in a gently bent position. So let's take our fingers, interlace them around our left foot, and we'll circle this in. So we have eight circles. Circle it in. Good. And you're going for your widest range of motions for seven. Yeah. For six. So bring it in towards you for five. That's the way. For four. Good. For three, nice. For two, for one. And then we'll go the reverse direction. So bring it into you and scoop it out. Yeah, for seven, nice. For six, for five, that's the way. Go for four, go for three, go for two, Go for one. So you bring this foot in toward your chest, lift up tall, keep your left foot flexed. We'll just bring this right sole of foot flat against the floor. You place your left foot on top of your right thigh. Find a figure four shape, lift your chest up. And then just feel how this feels, right? Maybe the first side you felt really, really open, but maybe this side feels a little bit tighter, in which case you absolutely respect your body and then stay wherever you are. That gives you a good challenging stretch, but not that you're overdoing it. But if you do feel like this side is quite accessible, maybe you can start to scoot your hips in toward your heel or your heel into your hip and use your hands back behind you, not to like lounge into, but really to push and lift yourself up taller. Continue to flex this left foot, lift up tall through your chest, relax your shoulders back, and allow this left side hip to open. This is one of those things where when it comes to hips, um, it's not about like constantly moving. In fact, it's just the opposite. Spend some time there, allow this stretch to marinate in your body um, and, and give your body some time. All right, to continue on with this then, we'll take that bottom leg, or sorry, in, and scoot it out just a little bit. Take our fingers, interlace just behind our right thigh, and then lean back, pick up our right foot. See if you can use your left elbow to help push into your left inner thigh. Find a little balance here. Continue to flex out through both feet. Drop your shoulders, lift your chest for three, for two, for one. See if you might be able to find an extension real quick. Yeah. Bend it again. And then as we tuck this foot in, we'll move into a double pigeon. So this right heel will want to go super close into your hip. We want to keep it out so you are in a stacked position. You want to find your both shins parallel to the top of your space, not your heels coming in too close to you. So find a good spot for that. Lift up tall through your chest and gently hinge forward. Continue to flex out through both of your feet and use your arms back behind to push. Lengthen out through your spine. Hinge. Now, even if you feel, let's say, a little bit tight in this position, um, it's uh, very tempting to round and then 
feel like you're going deeper. But what I'd like you to um, try is to maybe stay up a little bit higher, but truly find a good hinge, right? So meaning your spine is still very, very long as you hinge forward, as opposed to rounded with your shoulders caved in. So stay right there, open your chest, lengthen out through your spine. Hold for four. Hold for three. If this feels good, of course, you can bring your arms in front of you, but do what your body feels best, right? Uh, every uh, day is a little bit different, and of course, side to side is a little bit different. And then we'll stay down low, start to walk your arms over to this right hand side. See if you might be able to get something, uh, any part of your left arm inside of your left foot. Um, ideally, we get something above our elbow, so then we have the ability to kind of push into our left foot and find some length in your spine as you hinge forward. As you hinge and find your forward fold, you want to find length in your spine and allow your hips to sit back just the same. Let's hang out here. Hold for four. Good work in your hips. Hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. And let's walk back into the center position. Lengthen out through your spine. We'll just take one more breath here, all right? Inhale, open your chest, take advantage of some length. Preserve this length that you've created and exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Good, gently lift yourself up. So we'll continue to encourage our hip to open as you extend your right leg long. Position yourself so you're still in this figure for and again, make any observations um, uh, in the difference between this side versus the previous side. Lift up tall and we'll gently hinge. For me, this side is a little bit tighter and it's made obvious by the fact that my left knee is quite a bit more elevated. Um, so this next thing we do will hopefully help to encourage it uh, to open up a little bit more. Send energy out through your right heel and lengthen out through the crown of your head to continuously find more length in your spine. Good, gently lift yourself up. And then we'll take this left hand, again, very, very gentle, push into your left uh, inner thigh area. So rather than pushing down onto your knee, it's sort of this meaty part, and we're just giving it a gentle, gentle nudge. Take some time here, take a little bit longer with your breath. Every exhale, see if you might be able to gently push uh, into your left inner thigh. No forcing, of course, just easy, easy. And then we're kind of already tilted toward this right hand side. We'll stay facing this right hand side and see if we can find a forward fold here. All right, so find some length, extend out through your arms, open your chest, hang out right here. Hold for four, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one. Good, gently walk through center. Let's take one more breath, inhale, lengthen, open your chest. And exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Good, gently walk yourself up and then extend this left leg straight. Ooh, it feels like that left side was worked quite a bit, right? All right, of course, the big one to open up our hips is a uh, frog. So we'll take that in just a bit. We'll do it forward fold first with Baddha Konasana. Lift your chest up nice and tall, soles of your feet together, and find a gentle hinge here. Open your chest, lengthen out through your spine, and go hinge. Extend your arms, maybe. And then give a little bit of right and left movement so your spine, again, feels a little bit looser, a little bit longer, a little bit more willing uh, to stay flexible. 
We'll take one more breath here in through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Good, from this place, let's lift ourselves up, cross out your ankles and come forward onto your belly. All right, we'll do one more thing uh, individually for both sides before we move into the big posture. Bend your right leg. So your right leg at 90 degrees, your left leg is straight back behind you, flex your right foot. Now from this place, um, really see if you can square up your hips so it feels like your both legs are back behind you. Press into your left palm, lift your chest up, and then thread your right arm over to your left hand side. From this place, take your left hand, push into the floor, and open up through your chest. So you feel that nice opening, that good twist through your spine. And then as you push into your left palm, you should feel even more hip opening on your right side. Let's take two breaths here, in through your nose, on your exhale, push your left palm into the floor. Go twist. One more time, in through your nose, lengthen. Exhale, push, twist, twist, twist. And gently release. Push into your left palm, lift yourself up. And from here, we'll go switch our sides. So straighten out through your right leg and then bend up your left leg so it's 90 degrees out to this side. Push into your right palm and then thread your left arm through. Open your chest. Take your right palm, push into the floor, twist. Draw your right shoulder back, open up through your chest. And we again spend two breaths here. As you push into your right palm, you get that really nice twist, but also you get a good hip opener on your left hand side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push into your palm, go twist. One more time, inhale, go lengthen. Exhale, push into your palm, go twist. Go twist, go twist. Really nice, push into your right palm, lift yourself up, and then return your left leg back behind. We'll come into a very uh, small little tabletop. So your elbows, your forearms are on the floor. You start to separate your knees out to the right, to the left. So you move your knees out to the right, to the left, flex your both feet, and then check that you have 90 degrees uh, from your left leg to your right leg. You check. Hips in line with your knees. Elbows are already on the floor and allow your hips to melt. At your first point of resistance, we stay for a couple of breaths, right? Just give ourselves a little bit of time to soften, to relax, to feel this uh, place in our frog. And then we'll take one more breath here in through your nose. Exhale out. See if you might be able to separate your knees out even farther, All right? And I'm giving us um, just sort of a couple of breaths and then doing the separation of your knees more. But if you find at any point in time that your body feels like it's more willing to uh, move into it deeper, absolutely feel free to separate your knees out even farther. Each time though you make any adjustment, I want you to just take a couple of breaths. Those breaths really make a huge difference in uh, how your body responds to the new place, right? So each time you go a little bit deeper, if our bodies remain tense, that's how it's going to sort of remember uh, how to respond. But if you find a new place, a new place of depth, and you breathe and soften and relax, your body might be more receptive each time. Right, so separate out through your knees, breathe into it nice and easy. And then see if you might be able to separate your knees out just a little bit farther here. This will be our final dedicated uh, adjustment, but you again feel free to make your adjustments as your body is ready. We'll take 
Three full deep breaths together in through your nose. Exhale, think about softening your hips, moving your knees out to the right, to the left. Inhale. Exhale it out. One more time here, inhale. My legs are shaking here. And exhale. And then when you're ready, slowly, slowly on your next inhale, use your hands, push yourself up, and gently bring these knees back into a comfortable position. We'll take ourselves uh, down to the floor, onto our back, and then continue to reinforce uh, that hip opening. So flex your feet and then push your knees out to the right, to the left. Take your hands to your inner thighs and then give yourself just a manual adjustment, a nudge downward. Lengthen out through your spine. Good. And then from this place, if you can afford to do so, start to straighten out through your legs, send energy out through your heels and hold. Hold right here for four, for three. Flex your feet, energy out through your heels for two. Relax your shoulders. For one, stay a little bit longer. Bend your legs up again. Bend it, separate your knees. Hold right here, flex your feet. Hold for four. Use your hands to provide some pressure for three. You got it. For two. For one, bring your arms up by your ears and we'll take a couple of hollow body rocks each time you find yourself in a seated happy baby. Ready? Arms by your ears. Rock it. Go. Lift yourself up. Feet up off of the floor and take it back. Three more times. Go and lift yourself up off of the floor. I'm going to switch the angle so you can see me twice more. And go. Lift yourself up off of the floor. Nice. And one more time. Go lift yourself up off of the floor. Grab a hold of the insides of your feet. You're in the happy baby. Good. Extend out through your left heel. Bend it again. Nice. Extend out through your right heel. And bend it again. Extend out through both heels lift up tall through your chest hang out here for four hang out here for three very good hang out here for two for one so we're going back to bent legs remember the hollow body we just did we're gonna do two more times ready go take it back i'm gonna let go of my feet take it back go lift and this last time i want you to sit yourself up in malasana so go Take it back, ground your feet, find yourself in malasana. That's the way. Lift your chest up, use your elbows to help push your uh, inner thighs out to the sides. Lengthen through your spine. Take your right arm inside of your right leg, reach your left arm up, give yourself a twist. And again, to find some length in our spine will be super important here. Inhale, lengthen first, growth the crown of your head, and then exhale, open your chest, find a good, good twist. One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, go, twist. Good, come back through center, switch it. Left arm inside, reach your right arm all the way up. Again, before we twist, you want to inhale, lengthen. Feel like your left side body is very long. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, twist, twist. Come back through center, hands in the prayer. Open your chest. Use your elbows to push out to the right, to the left. Hold right here. Get longer, taller in your spine. Hold for four. Pull your belly in. Feel the sides of your body lifted up away from your thighs. Hold for three. Good. Hold for two. Hold for one. Very, very slowly. Sit yourself back down. Bring the soles of your feet together once again. Lift up tall through your chest. Hinge. 
Lengthen out through your spine. Hold right there. Hold for four. Breathe easy for three. Relax your shoulders for two. For one, gently lift yourself up and then plant your soles of your feet on the floor. We'll let these knees drop out to the left. Feels good just to uh, change the direction up, reverse it. Come back through center and then bring your knees dropped over to your right hand side. Good, and then go over to your left once again. And this time we'll find a gentle hinge forward. Be very gentle, because this is going the opposite of what we've been doing all class. And come back up, switch the sides. Knees over to your right, and again, gentle, gentle hinge forward. Ooh, feels nice to reverse it all, huh? And gently, gently come back up. Extend out both of your legs. Hinge forward last time, open your chest. And exhale, hinge. Nice. Gently lift yourself up. Inhale, arms go all the way up high toward the ceiling. Give me a cactus backward bend. Lift through your chest. Inhale, arms go all the way up high. Push it out right, left, lower, down. So good. Um, great to see you. I uh, hope you have.